Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, here with another night of the 13 Nights of Halloween, and I'm back with World of Horror. So let's start a new mystery and hopefully beat the game in this... Beat the game or horribly lose in the next three minutes, in which case I'll have to include it to the previous episode, which would be really funny. Freaky feature of a found footage. Three students disappear in the process of making a documentary about local folklore legends in the nearby forest. Now on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man starts asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he and what did the students discover out there? Investigate the mansion location twice to complete this event. Where's the mansion? Investigate mansion. In the middle of the room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush to help. When you remove his gag, though, the man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall on the floor. Your mind flooded with unspeakable angels. The man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. Okay. This, 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 and... Really? I'm surprised I can't kick him. There's a defensive option I can do. No. One sequence. I should look at me. I'm perfectly fine. Look at me! <laughs> this is the look of a person that's perfectly on tilt. What's that? Pick it up. You found an ancient item. Curious statue. When held in inventory, sure. Let's investigate the mansion again. Corpses strung up on wire like microbe marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Legend says the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. It posts you in a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. Okay, cool. Let me see, because I'm currently suicidal and hungry. <laughs> I'm still that, so... Manage combat encounters. That's right, dog no longer there. I don't need an ally besides the dog I have. I'm trying to see where the fuck the hospital is. No, this is home again. No, this is the hospital. Um, let's see. It's a doctor's office. How do I even fucking fix this? Oh, let me guess, I'm not actually injured. Boo. Go into the hospital. really nothing I could want or need here, so I'm just gonna exit without buying. I've increased the doom for no reason, but it should be fine. Let's investigate the school. All we need is dog. The pool is empty at this hour. It's dark when you could swear something suddenly moved from under the surface of the water. Check out the lockers. Plus two phones. Alright. The notes mention a village not far from your town. You decide to take a bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees that have suddenly died. What happened here? 
Walking through the park, you find the little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address in the backpack laying nearby. Take her home. She offered to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mind slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. Tells you that she can take it from here. Plus 10 EXP, minus 2 stamina. Sure. Worried mom. Everyone in the village is unsettlingly friendly. The old farmer points you to an old stone and missing grips abilities turn into a school trip. Spooky stuff happens in nowhere. It's up to an old priest and is performing a ritual to appease the local demon in prison in the ground. You have invited to join them. Participate. Shit. Distracted by a huge man wearing a demon mask, you have trouble following the intricate patterns and step. The ritual is a disaster. Looking back one last time, you continue deeper into the woods. Oh shit, are you serious? The suspicious group you've been following is gathering a nearby force. You've encountered some sort of ritual in a clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. You manage to see them from the face to hear the names of the group. Bitchin'. I was saying. Plus one to sturdy. Go with perception. Uh, let me see, I'm perfectly fine in that. I need more strength. You have a feeling someone's following you. Yeah, no shit, dude. The room in which his house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Take cassettes and run. Not being able to deal with it, you decide to grab the tapes and run. You wander aimlessly through the woods for a few hours until you found the search party. You lead them to the house, but the door to the basement is missing. Uh, I got ending C, and I'm going to consider this good. Let's see what the forest tapes are. Broken. Roads close. Shit, that's bad. Take the key. So, take a bath. Let's go with stamina. Oh, we we're already at the max. Mm. Peek out the hole. Nothing weird. Good. Keep it that way. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Whilst returning to your home, someone suddenly bumped into you. Did you know you turn around as your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana? That weird dude is back, you know, the one who studies fish. You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious what weird fish he brings this time, she grins? I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder what weird fish did he find this time. Will you check it out? Okay, sure, I can do it. Investigate the seaside. Where the fuck is the seaside? Village, mansion, seaside. Twice. Oh, Canada, Kana's with me. Someone pulled you towards the beach, a stench half buried in the sand is calling you. you. Feel your hands shaking. I feel like the answer is ignore it. Despite your sudden desire, you get a hold of yourself. Moving away from you, you quickly forget the whole encounter. It's okay. Investigate the seaside again. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse carried by the ocean's wave. Let's search the body. Inside the man's pocket, you find documents that are strangely dry. Did the man really drowned, or was he brought here? You may be crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. Alright. Let me look at my items. I'm gonna send this to storage. Actually, let me go back to the seaside because maybe there was a way to. 
go in here real quick. No, it's just more ways to buy items. This would be pretty good, actually. I'm gonna buy a flashlight. Quip. I did not realize that that replaces my spooky mask. That's fine. I'll keep, uh, move this to storage for now. It was useful against that one ghost I fought. <laughs> What could be in the hardware store? I already went in the hardware store. Okay. Let's investigate the apartments. The woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She's taking a shower, suddenly the shower head starts spraying bud. Calm her down. Women sniffs and smiles weakly. You feel like you prevented something awful. Plus four reason. Bitchin'. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back. The classes begin next week. Alright. <sighs> Suddenly everything slows to a crawl. What the fuck? Time warper. Well, let me tell you right now, Time Warper, you don't stand a chance against something I like to call my fucking katana. Stand the fuck back, sir. Because right now, you can't even handle me. That's what I fucking thought. The neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find new jars all filled with weird eel-like fish. This, despite your protest, Kana decides to take one jar home. Why, Kana? Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly staring at a creepy statue? Creepy, creepy, creepy creature. God damn it, Kana. You're fucking making this way. Not wanting to wait for the elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip and grab a railing. The last second when you make up an inspect, you cause you to trip. You freeze in terror. It's slowly standing up. Ooh. God damn it, man. Oh, go, go, go. God damn it. Hey, nope. I'm not leaving any offering. How about you fucking die? How about you die? As I said before, I have a katana, sir. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is the eel even alive? I really do feel like this entire adventure has been me since I got that katana just whipping the ass out of everything. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior? The day of reckoning is a coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello? Are you still there? Hang up immediately. Minus one reason, but it's worth it. Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. He must have seen it. Because one of the papers is still salvageable. Legend from the perfectual eel small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. That's so weird. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. Um, it was not a good fucking idea. Was this ever really up for discussion? Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the door. Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. That's what the matter. Before you can answer the door, the letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown fader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, the manor retreats, probably unsure if you're home after all. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. You wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committedly. You just wish you could throw this damn jar into the trash. I'm with you, girl. Don't... Don't get it twisted. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. Oh, God. This thing's fucking disgusting looking. Well, I've never met a man I can't katana in the fucking face. So let's katana him in the fucking face. Okay. 
He's really trying to kill me, though. Okay. He needs another body now. Well, he's not getting this one, because he's dead. Let's see. Outdoor's men, plus one luck. Faster offensive actions, that's what I want. So, fast swimmer. Oh, that's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look at Kana. Ooh, she is important. <laughs> Send against enemy, that's not happening. Thinking about how stupid it is Kana to try to break into your apartment as you go to sleep. Spend an entire day waiting for Kana, where the hell is she? That's not good. I'm missing Kana. Please don't tell me I have to katana my friend, Kana. Oh no. Oh god. Kana's been missing since yesterday. You decided to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Cautiously enter the neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked as countless chairs filled with eels filling around. Where the hell is Kana? Check the bedroom. I found the neighbor, but with his eyes burst, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my eye. Oh, God. Okay, we have to go to the hospital. You rest at the hospital with Connie, getting a lot of people's attention from the horror fight, but your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you fall asleep. When you wake up, it's already night. Trying to ask about your friend, you are met with weird reactions as if she never existed. You rush to the operating theater yourself. We are stopped by the armed policeman. Whatever happened, the doctors must have been too late to help. God damn it. You still process the events as your precious night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes. Sitting before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. You wonder if you will ever hear from your friend again. I should have just fucking stabbed your eye with my katana. God damn it. Okay, let's see. Okay. Take the key. Let me take a bath. I think I need my reasoning back. Yeah. So. Enter lighthouse. Two, three, four, five. Finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things: that whoever or whatever is behind this weird place must be the highest. F hmm. Let me quickly take this to storage. Climbing these stairs. Let me rest a bit. Plus one reason and stamina. Okay, perfect. Actually. I can do this a little bit more. I want to get high up there, and I got plenty of doom. Okay, start climbing. Me and dog versus the world. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you can notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to the hole inside the center pillar. There's a switch inside. You'll find a risk getting cut of the enormous glass shards of the knives. Find a switch. Dexterity check success. Perfect. Let's keep going. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. The cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes twitch and water, but to power the gate you'll need to disconnect the faulty plug. Success? I'm fucking kicking ass at this, man. You are stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black uh, school uniform. I'm sorry, but can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for a bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. I, I want to fucking katana her. Where's the button that says katana this bitch where she stands? You try to talk her into allowing you to pass, but suddenly she raises the knife and slices right across your own throat, nearly de decapitating herself. Minus two reason. It's fine. I need more charisma. Climbing the winding staircase, you are stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and the mask off. Nothing personal, really. Takashi-san? I don't know who you are, dude. Prepare your attack, but you know what you're about to get. Katana it in the fucking face. Oh, I should have checked to see if I can... I can't... 
can. Oh my god. Well, it didn't matter. <laughs> he was dead regardless. Following the winding stair, you're stopped by darkness. A thick black screen set. Light your way. Yeah, baby. All because I had a little flashlight. Plus one luck. We'll go with this one and get more charisma just in case. Dark clouds, did you arrive too late? Run to the veil of darkness. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and claps on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening of the Eldritch Old God, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again until the star stars are right again. Congratulations, you are safe. For now. I actually beat the game! Awesome! I didn't think I was gonna do it. That katana... was insanely good. <laughs> I guess I'm also on a... maybe not the hardest difficulty, but it's fine. Incoming Doom 70 I was really close. Count to 6 and lock some achievements, continue. And I... And I'm gonna say that's it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. That is legitimately the end of a One World of Horror run. Of course, it is procedurally generated, so... You can just... Let me see. Then go customize the playthrough. God damn. Oh... Uh, take me back. Never mind. All right, goodbye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next horror-filled uh, night. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.